Dogsbite.org is not an expert organization when it comes to canine behavior. Lately, several media sources have been treating them like they are experts on dog bites and attacks. It doesn't cover the reality that Dogsbite.org is simply a website ran entirely by a person who created a website, has access to Google, and a desire to seek revenge on the attack that happened to her several years ago. It's mostly just a website of wrong information about dog attacks. Colleen Lynn is the creator of dogsbite.org. In June of 2007, Lynn was an unfortunate victim of a dog bite while she was out jogging. Because of the dog bite by a dog that is said to be a pit bull, Lynn decided to create the website dogsbite.org. According to the original About Us section of the website, the intent of the website was meant for three things. Distinguish which breeds of dogs are dangerous to have in neighborhoods. Help enact laws to regulate the ownership of these breeds. Help enact laws that hold dog owners criminally liable if their dog attacks a person or causes serious injury or death. The original purpose of the website is very clear. She intended to target particular breeds of dogs and ban ownership of these breeds. The goal was not public education. It was about enacting breed-specific legislation, even though she has no credentials to propose legislation. So the question then remains, how is it that an organization that has few real credentials continues to get quoted by media outlets out there? When it comes to the argument about whether or not to ban pit bulls, dogsbite.org ends up being the only organization in favor of banning pit bulls. So the media almost has to use them because they're the only ones with an alternative point of view. There are no sources backing up the pit bull. That is the reason why I started this channel to give pit bulls a voice with facts on why they are not dangerous breed. Dogsbite.org are the only ones that favor BSL laws and have a big enough following to affect the breed's reputation. Here's a quote from their website. Research from dogsbite.org shows that during the 14-year period from 2005 to 2018, canines killed 471 Americans. Pit bulls and rottweilers accounted for 76%, 358 of these deaths. There's also no context on what happens when these dog attacks occur. Were these dogs triggered? Were they abused? Were they defending their owner or their territory? All we hear is dog attacks and blame a pit bull on this website. It has escaped dogsbite.org's attention that Pitbull is not a breed but a slang term describing countless breeds, their mixes, and those dogs resembling those breeds. Even dogsbite.org refers to them as Pitbull type dogs, meaning the term Pitbull does not comprise of one breed even by their own assessment. In other words, these dogs are mixes and is not the real American Pitbull Terrier and they acknowledge that. All these fake statistics affects the breed specific legislation laws. What about all the worldwide evidence that BSL does not work? For instance, Italy and Netherlands both replaced their BSL within the last couple of years, citing its ineffectiveness. It has also been widely reported in the BBC that the UK's 1991 Dangerous Dog Act has been a failure since there has been a huge rise in banned breeds in the UK. And in 2010, the Toronto Humane Society, in a survey of cities, released statistics revealing that Ontario's 2005 ban on the pit bull breeds or dogs that resemble pit bulls has not made any difference in the number of dog bites. Just to follow through the Toronto's findings, does dogsbite.org mean to say that Toronto's breed ban has been successful even though the Toronto Humane Society has shown that there are no fewer dog bites? Something to think about. The Center of Disease Control says in order to take dog bite data seriously, one must be able to discern the proper breed based on more than media reports. One must factor in the circumstances like owner abuse and neglect, these are the elements necessary for properly glean scientific data as concerns dog bites. The CDC itself cannot even fulfill these requirements, which may be why they stopped tracking dog bite fatality statistics. What was the CDC's conclusion based on their faulty statistics? Here's a quote that I have found. Breed specific legislation does not address the fact that a dog of any breed can become dangerous when bred or trained to be aggressive. From a scientific point of view, we are unaware of any formal evaluation of the effectiveness of breed-specific legislation in preventing fatal or non-fatal dog bites. An alternative to breed-specific legislation is to regulate individual dogs and owners on the basis of their behavior. In short, this means that BSL laws are ineffective towards dog attacks. This website even has a link that bashes pit bull owners. The first thing that stands out to me is they say they are not normal dog owners. Here is a quote I immediately saw. Passing their dogs as breeds other than pit bulls denying their behavior is biologically determined. Debunking adverse media coverage, using humor, emphasizing counter-stereotypical behavior, 
avoiding stereotypical equipment or accessories, taking preventive measures, or becoming breed ambassadors. So why don't they have any other categories on any other breeds? It's clear to me that this website is out to bash pit bull owners and their dogs specifically based on their own experience without any factual statistics on their website. Their dangerous dog links only refers to pit bulls. Their dog bite statistics don't even show real numbers to show on each breed. So I thought it was pretty crazy digging into this research that this website is actually for real discriminating against the American Pit Bull Terrier without any hard statistics or proof of actual breed testing when these dog attacks occur. So I want to know your guys' thought on this. Leave a comment below on what you think of this website. If you want to interact with me about this subject, you could join my Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description below where you could go do that. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. I'm out.